Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus Chapter 34 Yahweh said to Moses, Chisel two stone tablets like the first, and I will write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablets which you broke. Be ready by the morning and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai, and present yourself there to me on top of the mountain. No one shall come up with you, or be seen anywhere on the mountain. Do not let the flocks or herds graze in front of that mountain. Moses chiseled two tablets of stone like the first, and he rose up early in the morning, and went up to Mount Sinai, as Yahweh had commanded him, and took in his hand two stone tablets. Yahweh descended in the cloud and stood with him there, and proclaimed Yahweh's name. Yahweh passed by before him and proclaimed, Yahweh, Yahweh, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness and truth, keeping loving kindness for thousands, forgiving iniquity, disobedience and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers and the children and on the children's children, on the third and on the fourth generation. Moses hurried and bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. He said, If now I have found favour in your sight, Lord, please let the Lord go among us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, pardon our iniquity and our sin and take us for your inheritance. He always said, Listen, I make a covenant. Before all your people, I will do marvels such as not been worked in all the earth, or in any nation, and all the people among which you shall see the work of Yahweh, for it is an awesome thing that I do with you. Observe that which I command you today. See, I drive out before you the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jezreelite. Be careful in case you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land where you are going, for it be for a snare in the middle of you. You shall break down their altars and dash in pieces their pillars, and you shall cut down their Asherah poles, for you shall worship no other god, for Yahweh whose name is jealous, is a jealous god. Don't make a covenant with the inhabitants of that land, in case they play the prostitute after their gods, and sacrifice to their gods, and one call you, and you eat of his sacrifice, and you take of their daughters to your sons, and their daughters play the prostitutes after their gods, and make your sons play the prostitutes after their gods. You shall make no cast idols for yourselves. You shall keep the feast of unleavened bread. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, as I commanded you, at the time appointed in the month Abib. For in the month Abib you came out of Egypt. All that opens the womb is mine, and all your livestock that is male the firstborn of common sheep, you shall redeem the firstborn of a donkey with a lamb. If you will not redeem it, then you shall break its neck. You shall redeem all the firstborn of your sons. No one shall appear before me empty. Six days you shall work, but on the seventh you shall rest. In ploughing time and in harvest you shall rest. You shall observe the feast of weeks, with the first fruits of wheat harvest, and the feast of harvest at the year's end. Three times in a year, all your males shall appear before the Lord Yahweh, the God of Israel. For I will drive out nations before you, and enlarge your borders. Neither shall any man 
Desire your land when you go up to appear before Yahweh, your God, three times in the year. You shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavened bread. The sacrifice of the feast of the Passover shall not be left to the morning. You shall bring the first of the first fruits of your ground to the house of Yahweh your God. You shall not boil a young goat in its mother's milk. He always said to Moses, Write you these words. For in accordance with these words, I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. Moses was there with Yahweh forty days and forty nights. He neither ate bread nor drank water. He wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand, when he came down from the mountain, Moses didn't know that the skin of his face shone by reason of his speaking with him. When Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, they saw the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near him. Moses called to them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned to him, and Moses spoke to them. Afterward, all the children of Israel came near, and he gave them all the commandments that Yahweh had spoken with him on Mount Sinai. When Moses was done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moses went in before Yahweh to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spoke to the children of Israel that which he was commanded. The children of Israel saw Moses' face, seeing that the skin of Moses' face shone. And Moses put the veil on his face again until he went in to speak with him.